Hi guys, it's Anna. Today we are making this cute little mesh, not mesh, maybe mesh um, shell crochet top. I also saw the same thing on like a vintage pattern that I thought was really cool. And so I made my own little twist on it, I guess. I just made mine a little bit longer, but if you wanted yours to be short and cropped, then I show you how to do that in this video as well. So this video is for both if you want it like longer like mine or like cropped like hers, like that one. I just think it's so cute as like a little cover up with a bikini under it, which is what I'm doing. Um, and I also saw the vintage pattern has pants that go with it. So if you guys want me to make a tutorial for pants like those, I will do it because I think that's so cute. And like, imagine like a matching top and bottoms, like, come on. Like, I would say this is pretty beginner friendly. It's really not difficult. The stitches aren't hard. And it's super repetitive so once you like get into the groove of things it goes by really quickly and it's not super difficult so i think as long as you follow along you should be good so if you want to see how to make this then keep on watching and i will show you okay this is the yarn that i'm using it's the burnett softy baby cotton yarn and this is the information I can also put some other yarns that I like for this in the description box if you can't find this one or you want to use a 100% cotton because this is 40% um, acrylic. So if you wanted to use all cotton, I will put some full cotton recommendations in the description. But this is a weight three yarn. You're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter hook, some scissors, a measuring tape, and then a darning needle. To start, we're gonna make a slip knot. So if you don't know how to do that, just wrap the yarn around your finger to make a little loop like that and then go through the loop and pick up this piece of yarn and just pull it through that little loop. So then you have a little knot. Now you can insert your hook into the loop and then tighten it down onto your hook. And at this point, we are actually gonna be making a foundation single crochet, which is really not that difficult. I am gonna show you how to do it, but I'll also put in the description box a link to someone else's video that I think does a little bit better of a job explaining. So just try to follow along, but if you don't get it, then you can go check out another video. But you're gonna start by chaining two. So just wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through that loop. So that's one, and then wrap the yarn and pull it through. That's two, so now we have two chains and then in the first chain which is right here you are gonna insert your hook right in the middle of that v like that and as you can see i have two loops on the hook from that um, chain and then i also have this loop that was there earlier and then you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through that chain so now you have two loops on the hook and you're gonna yarn over and then pull through one loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops like so. Now we're gonna go into this hole right here. So I'm gonna insert my hook there, but we're not getting one loop on our hook. We're gonna be getting two. So I'm inserting my hook there, but I'm also trying to catch this other loop right there. I hope you can see that but you're inserting there and then you're gonna grab your yarn and pull it through. Now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that was our second um, and I'll show you how to do it again. So we're gonna be going into this hole now. Remember, it's not this one, it's this one right there. And we're making sure to get both loops on the hook. So I'm inserting there and then making sure to get both loops on the hook like that. And then pick up your yarn, pull it through. Now you have two loops on the hook and you kind of want to loosen it a little bit so it stays straight. So don't do it too tightly, but then grab your yarn, pull through one and then grab your yarn and pull through two. So basically this is just going to mimic like us making a chain and then single crocheting into that chain. So it's just a little bit faster and it looks a little nicer than if you just did a chain and then single crocheted into the chain. So I'm gonna do one more time. Again, we're going into this hole right there. So just insert your hook 
make sure you get both of those loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through. So now we have two loops. Maybe loosen it a little bit so it's not too tight there. Yarn over, pull through one of the loops, and then yarn over and pull through both. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way down with my foundation single crochets until I have a length that's a little bit less than half of my bust size. So you're gonna wanna measure your bust size, which in case you don't know, is all the way around the widest part of your chest. So measure that and then split it in half. And then I would do about like two inches or so less than half of your bust size. So I'll show you what I mean with actual numbers once I get there. So my bust measurement is about 34 inches. And so divided by two is 17, but I'm gonna do about 15 inches. So two less than half of your bust size. So I'm just gonna continue doing this foundation single crochet, and then I'll come back to you once I have a length that's good with the numbers that I just gave you. Here's my foundation single crochet. As you can see, it's almost exactly 15 inches long, which was a little less than half of my bust measurement. But something else that you need to keep in mind when making your foundation single crochet is that the number of single crochets that you have here has to be a multiple of eight. So mine here is 64 stitches total, which is eight times eight. If you want your top to be a little bit more oversized on you, then you can maybe do like only an inch less than half of your bust measurement rather than two, which is what I did. Um, but it's up to you. So I did two less and that's good for me. And the top will be like still kind of loose on me. So that's just what I like to do. So when you're counting your stitches to make sure that you have like the right amount, um, this is going to be the first one right here. So this is the tail. And then this is our very first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And I, again, did 64, but just do whatever number you need to get close to a little under half of your bust measurement. And then once you have your multiple of eight, you're gonna do one more. So making sure we get both loops there, just doing our last foundation single crochet like that. And then you're gonna chain two and then we're gonna turn our work. So just to recap, you did the multiple of eight and then chain one. So the number of stitches that you have should be an odd number. So the first step is gonna be to make a double crochet into this very first stitch right here. So to do that, you're gonna wrap your yarn around the hook once and then go into the hole and get both loops on your hook pull your yarn through, so now you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops like that, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining two. And now we are gonna chain one, and then we're gonna skip this next stitch, and then go into the second one from the hook. So this is the first chain from the hook, which we're not going into, and then this is the second chain from the hook. So wrap your yarn, skip this stitch and then do a double crochet into the next one. Make sure you get both loops on the hook like that. Get three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through the remaining two. So it should look like that. And then chain one. And now we're gonna do the same thing where we skip this stitch, go into the second one with a double crochet. Like that. Chain up one. Skip this stitch, go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And this is just the pattern that we're gonna do all the way down. So chain one, double crochet into the second stitch from the hook. Chain one, skip that stitch, go into the second with the double crochet. And yeah, I'm just gonna do this pattern all the way down until I reach the end. I'm almost at the end of this row. And this is the last stitch of the row, and that's also going to be the last stitch of a double crochet. If you counted everything right and made sure that you did your double crochet, skip a stitch every single time. 
Um, so yeah, this final stitch should be a double crochet. So I'm just gonna work into that very last stitch with a double crochet like that and then chain two and turn. And now we're gonna do the same thing. So double crochet into that very first stitch, which is right there. So I'm just going to that first stitch with a double crochet and then chain one and we're gonna skip over this hole and then go into the next double crochet from the last row. Oops. So this double crochet right there and then chain one and then just keep doing that. So we're going to this next double crochet. So you can kind of just go by eye. Every time you see a hole, you're gonna be doing a chain one and then you're gonna go into the next double crochet spot. So we're just kind of making this little grid pattern as you can see. So chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet that, chain one, and then do another double crochet into the next double crochet. And so it's really easy. You're just going to keep doing this until you reach the end of this row. And then we're going to do it one more time. And then we're going to switch things up. So I'm almost at the end of my second row. Um, and the very end stitch can be a little bit tricky. So I wanted to show you what to do. So I did my double crochet chain one. So you're going to be skipping this stitch right here because that is the chain one of like the gap here. And then you're going to go right into here because that's the top of this double crochet. So just like that, make our final double crochet like that and then chain two and turn. And for our third row, we're doing exactly what we just did for row two. So make a double crochet into that very first stitch chain one, make a double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, and then make a double crochet in the next double crochet and so on until you reach the end. And then we're gonna end it off the same way we just did. So I'm gonna finish up this row. I'm at the end of the row. So we'll just do the same thing that we did last time for this last stitch. You skip this chain and then go into the very next one, which is the double crochet from the previous row. So just do this double crochet. And after we've made our last double crochet, we are actually gonna chain three to start this next fourth row because it's gonna be a little bit different. So we chain three and normally we would like do our double crochet there, chain one, you know, continue doing our grid pattern, but we're gonna do something different here. So now, we are gonna be making a treble crochet into this stitch. So to do that, you're gonna wrap your yarn twice around the hook rather than just once, um, which is what we did for the double crochets, but we're making a treble crochet. So wrap your yarn twice and then go into that very first stitch, just like we always do, pull up a loop, but now you should have four loops on your hook since we wrapped twice at the beginning. And then pull your yarn through two loops and then two more loops and then those final two loops. And now we're gonna skip this next double crochet. And in this next one, we are gonna do seven treble crochets. So we're not, we didn't chain any to bridge this gap. Um, we're just gonna go straight in with our treble crochets. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook. And in this second double crochet from the hook, we're skipping this one. You're gonna go in, pull up a loop, pull through two loops two loops and then two loops like that. And we're gonna be making seven of those. So that was our first. So we're gonna make our second, go into that same stitch, two, two, and two. That's our second. Go into that same stitch, two, two, and two. That's our third. You can kind of like push them over to the side to make more room. That's our fourth. Fifth. Sixth. And then our last one, our seventh. 
just, oops. That's our last treble crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven treble crochets into that one stitch there. And again, we're not chaining any after making that stitch. We're just gonna go straight into our next stitch. We're skipping this next double crochet and going to the next one with just one treble crochet. So pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And now we're gonna do the same shell stitch in the next stitch, but not the immediate next one. We're skipping that one and going to the next one, just like we did at the beginning. So again, not chaining anything, but we're gonna make seven treble crochets into the second double crochet from our hook. So skip this one, go into this one, like that, pull through two, pull through two, oops, and pull through two. And then I'm just pulling that to side, and now I'm gonna make six more. So two, three, four, five, six, and then our last one, the seventh, like that. So we now have seven treble crochets in here. Then you probably know the drill by now. We're skipping this next double crochet, going to the next one with one treble crochet. Like that, pull through two, pull through two. I keep doing that, sorry. And then pull through two. And then we're gonna be making, just like we did here, seven treble crochets into not this double crochet, but the next one. So wrap your hook twice, go into there with a treble crochet and then six more. So now I have my seven treble crochets and then we're gonna skip this double crochet and in the next one we're gonna make just one treble crochet. And then we're gonna just repeat that pattern all the way down. I just made my last shell and again, if everything is correct for you, then your next like one treble crochet should be the last stitch. So we're skipping that one, going into this one and again, it's gonna be the top of this double crochet right there. So this stitch and just make a final treble crochet. If I can do it, there we go. And then chain three again. And now it's basically the same thing as what we just did, but it's gonna be slightly different because obviously we're going into these stitches and not the kind of mesh stitch so just like before we're gonna make our first treble crochet in that first stitch right there and then instead of like skipping one double crochet going into the next since obviously we don't have that we're just gonna go into the middle most treble crochet of this cluster from before so this is gonna be the fourth treble crochet so one two three four and you're gonna make seven treble crochets into that fourth treble crochet because that's like the middle of seven if that makes sense that's one two three and seven and then our one treble crochet is just gonna be in the same stitch as the previous one treble crochet. So it's gonna be this stitch right there because that's the one that like connects to that treble crochet. So that's that one. And just make one treble crochet like that. And then we're gonna be making seven again in the fourth treble crochet of this little shell. So one, two, three, four. That's just like the topmost, centermost treble crochet. And then we're making our next one treble crochet into this previous rose treble crochet. Like that. And then we're repeating the seven treble crochets into that fourth 
centermost treble crochet of the shell. And so we're just gonna keep doing this um, all the way until the end of the row. I'm at the end, this is how it's looking. So I'm sure you kinda understand by now, but um, our last one treble crochet is just gonna go into the top of this treble crochet right here. So just go into that stitch and make your final treble crochet and then chain three. And we're doing the exact same thing as what we just did. So treble crochet in that first stitch like that. And then seven treble crochets into that middle, that fourth treble crochet of the shell. So yeah, it's exactly what we just did. So I'm not gonna show too much because it's the same as the other row. But yeah, we're just gonna do this. And then after this row, we're gonna change it up again. I'm at the end now and we're gonna, just like before, make our final treble in that last treble there. So just make that stitch. And then this time we are gonna chain two because we're going back to making this mesh stitch with the double crochets. So we're only gonna chain two and then turn. And now we're gonna make a double crochet into that first stitch right there. So just wrap once around your hook and make a double crochet like that. And now chain one. And you're gonna skip this stitch here and make a double crochet into the second stitch. So it's the second treble of the shell. So make a double crochet into that second treble crochet of the shell, like that, and then chain one. And now we're gonna skip this next treble crochet of the shell and go into the fourth one in total, the second one from the hook with a double crochet like that and chain one. And now again, we're skipping this next one going into the next one with a double crochet, chain one. And now skip this one and go into this next one, which is gonna be the just one treble crochet right there. So go into that one, double crochet, chain one, skip this first treble, go into the second of the shell, like that, chain one, skip the next one, go into the next one with a double crochet, and then chain one, skip the next one, go into the next one, which is the second to last treble of the shell, like that, chain one, so you can kind of see it's starting to get that grid pattern again. Um, skip this next one, go into the next one, which should be a, like it should be the treble crochet that's alone. Chain one, skip the first, go into the second of the shell and chain one. And I'm sure you get the pattern by this point. So you do the double crochet, chain one, skip one, go into the next chain one, skip one, go into the next, and then chain one. And you're just gonna keep doing this. So I'm just gonna finish up this row and then I will get back to you at the end. I'm at the end, I did my chain one and now my last double crochet is in this stitch right there of the previous row's treble crochet. So just make a double crochet and then chain two. And this part's gonna be super easy because we're just gonna make that first double crochet there, like normal in that very first stitch, and then chain one. And then our next one's gonna be in the next double crochet, just like we did down here. Then chain one, then go into the next double crochet, chain one, Go into the next double crochet. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Chain one, next double crochet. Just 
the exact same thing as what we did for row two. I'm almost to the end, so I'll do my chain one. And then again, you know the drill at this point, go into the top of this double crochet stitch there. Double crochet, chain two, and then we're doing exactly what we just did. So double crochet into that very first stitch, chain one, double crochet into every one of these double crochets and then chain one again. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next double crochet and just do this all the way down. It's exactly the same as what we just did and also exactly the same as what we did in rows two and three down here. So you should be able to do that by now. So yeah, just do your double crochet and then chain one and I'm gonna finish up this row doing that and then I'll get to you at the end. I'm finishing up this row. This is the last row of the grids. Um, so just doing my last double crochet like that. And then we're gonna be chaining three this time because we're done with the grid and we're gonna start doing the treble crochets and the shell patterns and stuff. So at this point, we're just in a loop now. We're doing repeats of these rows over and over again until you have the length that you want. So if we turn, you can see that our next row is essentially gonna be this row of shells, which is row four. Just exactly what we did for row four. So you can go back and watch row four if you need a refresher for that. And then you're gonna do row five and row six, and then row seven, row eight, row nine. You're gonna just keep doing that until you have a length that you're happy with. So this is gonna be the total length of the top minus the straps. So you can make this as long as you want. Um, I think I'm probably gonna do like three rows of shells total. From this point, once you have like these three rows of grids up here, you're just gonna start with the fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, and then seven, eight, nine, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But actually that's not totally correct. On the very final repetition, you're not gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're just gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's only gonna be two rows of the grid at the very top once you're totally finished. But for the middle of the top and what we're doing right now, you are gonna do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Um, but for your last row, once you're like, done with the top you're only going to do two rows of this grid so i'll just come back to you once i have done that so i'm finishing up my final row this is what it looks like um, and remember i only did two rows of the mesh over here rather than three so i did my double crochet chain one and now just working my final double crochet right there in the last stitch and now you're just gonna chain one and then we're gonna cut our yarn. So just cut it, leave a tail like that and pull it through and tighten that down. So this is kind of what it's looking like. And at this point you can like grab the panel and hold it up to you and just see if it's looking like it's gonna be the size that you want it to be. So just kind of hold it up to your front, see where it wraps around and meets on the sides. You can like mark that on yourself and then put it around to the back and see if the sides are gonna meet up or like, is it gonna be too small or is it gonna be too big? Um, and if it is gonna be too small and you think you want a little bit more then for our second panel, you'll just make it a little bit bigger. So like maybe you'll do eight more for like another shell stitch or if it's too big, then you can do like eight less or something. But if it's looking good, then the next step is just gonna be to do this exact same thing over again. So we're gonna make exactly what we just did. So I'm not gonna like do it again to show you because we've already done it. So you're just gonna basically start the video over if you need a refresher, but make sure you do the same um, number of foundation single crochets if it's looking like it's gonna be a good fit for you. Um, just again, make sure that you're doing a multiple of eight and then one additional. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, make this exact same thing over, the same length and everything. 
and then I will get back to you. Okay, my two panels are done. This is the one that I just finished and you're gonna wanna keep your yarn still attached to the second one because we are now gonna be using that yarn to slip stitch them together on the sides. So at the end of this row, this is the last row of my second panel, I just chained one. And now we're gonna line it up with the other panel. So we're gonna take our first panel that we made, the one that doesn't have the yarn attached and put that on the bottom and then put our second panel on top like so. And now, we are just gonna be slip stitching the sides together. So I'm gonna go into this very first section of this double crochet, if that makes sense. So I'm just going in the top there with my hook. And this part is not gonna be perfect because these are not like actual stitches. So um, there's no like 100% correct way that you need to go in to these stitches because they're not stitches um, since they're sideways. So I just went like into that stitch near the top and then I'll try and do the same thing on this one, but into this, into that double crochet at the top and then grab your yarn and just pull it through both loops to make a slip stitch or all three loops like that. And you wanna do this kind of loosely because if you do it too tightly, your top will kind of like scrunch like that. So you wanna do it a little bit loosely. And then for the next one, I'll just go into this like second section of that double crochet, if that makes sense. So just go into there like that. And then do the same thing on this side. I'll just grab like a corresponding area on the other panel and then just loosely make a slip stitch. Pull my yarn out a little bit. And then for this next one, I'll just go into like this stitch right there. Again, there's just no, there's no like exact way that you have to do this. It's not that important that you get it perfectly. You just wanna make sure that you're going into like a corresponding stitch on the other side so it doesn't get skewed. I'm just gonna do this all the way down. So I'm just gonna go like there on this one, there on this panel and just make my little slip stitch just doing this the whole way down. Um, for the treble crochet, I'll do three. Like with the double crochets, I did two slip stitches per row. And when I'm doing the treble crochets, I will do three per row. So like do one at the very top of this treble crochet and then the same thing on this side, maybe like right there. And then that's one, and then I'll do one right in the middle, right in the middle. And then at the bottom of that row. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. You just wanna do two single or two slip stitches per double crochet row. And then for the tre treble crochet rows, you're gonna do three. Make sure that you're keeping your slip stitches loose and then just go all the way to the bottom and then we will cut our yarn and then do the same thing on this side. All right, I'm at the end. I just finished the second slip stitch of this last double crochet row and I'm just gonna do one more slip stitch to connect this foundation row that we did. So I'm gonna go right there at the end and then like right there on the other one, just slip stitch those together. Now you're gonna chain one and then we're gonna cut our yarn. And tighten down and then we are gonna attach our yarn on the other side. So I'm just flipping it over and we're gonna start up here at the top. So you're gonna make a slip knot with your yarn like that. And then you're gonna insert your hook into the top stitch of this double crochet. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So into that top stitch over there and then grab your slip knot and put it on your hook and just tighten down a little bit and then pull that through all of the loops on your hook for a slip stitch and then go into the next stitch and then the second stitch of the other side just like we did on the other side when we were slip stitching and then slip stitch and then now we're just doing the exact same thing 
So going into that top stitch, top part of the stitch, I guess, and then going into the bottom. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way until the end. I'm at the end and so just like the other side, I'm just gonna go into that final um, foundation single crochet row. So just go into the bottom of that and then same thing on the other side and make a slip stitch and then chain one. So next you want to kind of try this on. So just put like each seam directly on the side and you're basically just trying to see where to make the straps. So for me, um, my top is like slightly loose but it's not super loose. So I'm gonna just make my straps these two columns. But if your top is like a little bit extra large on you then it might not work for the rightmost two columns to be your straps. So just try it on, see um, which sets of two columns would be best for the location of your straps. And now we're gonna reattach here at the top. So I'm gonna do right here like that. Make a slip knot and then we're gonna reattach similarly to how we did with the slip stitch. So I just inserted my hook into the very like top right stitch of this front panel and then put the slip knot on your hook and then pull that through and then we're gonna be chaining two. And now we're just gonna do our last row of this grid stitch because we only have two here. Um, just kind of continuing the same pattern. So we're gonna do a double crochet right here into this first stitch and then chain one, then double crochet into this next one. Then chain one, but we're only gonna do this for the width that we wanna make our straps. So this is the last stitch. It's the one right after this second shell. And then we're gonna chain three and then turn. And now we are gonna do the shell stitch that we were doing earlier. So make a treble crochet into that very first stitch like that. And then skip this next double crochet. And in the next, we're gonna make seven treble crochets And now we're gonna skip this next double crochet and then just do one treble in the next stitch. Just the same pattern that we did for all of these rows here. And then skip this one, do seven trebles into this stitch. And then basically we are just doing the exact same pattern until we have a height for the sleeve that will go like up here and then fold back to make a strap here. Long enough to where it can fold back and then we'll connect it here. So I'm just gonna continue doing this pattern until I have the right length for me. Um, and then I will just let you know how many rows I ended up doing. But basically you're just gonna have to make a few rows and then you can like safety pin it to this if you want or you can just like hold it up, but you just wanna try it on and see when you have the right length for the strap. So I just finished up with a length that works for me. Um, I ended up doing like three of the shells and then three more and then three of the grid stitches. So this is what I ended up doing, but don't just go off of this. Like you actually need to like try it on and see if it'll fit you because it's totally dependent on like your arm size and stuff like that. So just try it on to make sure that you get it right. But then I just chained one and now we're gonna just connect it to the other side. So we're gonna flip over to the back. I'm gonna take my hook out, just loosen that a little bit. And you're just gonna line up this little piece to the rest of the top, if that makes sense, on the back. So I'm gonna go into this stitch right after our second shell. So right here, this double crochet, go into the top of that, and then pick up this loop that we loosened like that. 
Just tighten that down and then pull it through. And I'm just gonna chain one. And now we are just gonna slip stitch all the way down, going into corresponding stitches. So the next stitch is gonna be this chain one. So I'm going into that chain and then I'll go directly into the chain one right here. So right there. You're just going into the corresponding stitches on the other side. Then I'm gonna go into the top of this double crochet, the top of this double crochet, and you're just gonna keep slip stitching. Then I'm gonna go into this chain one, go into this chain one, then go into the top of this double crochet, the top of this double crochet, and so on all the way until the end. Now, just going into this very last stitch on the edge, and then pick up this side and do the same thing, and then chain one. And at this point, you should try it on just to be totally sure before we cut our yarn and stuff. If you're happy with how that fits, then you can go ahead and cut your yarn and just pull through and tighten. And now we're gonna attach our yarn to the other side and do the exact same thing. So flip over to the front. So we're going from the same side like this and um, whatever width you did for this strap, then you're gonna do the same width over here. So I did two. So I'm gonna start over here at this after the second shell, insert my hook into that double crochet right after Make a slip knot, put the slip knot on your hook and just tighten that down and pull it through. And now I'm going to chain two because our next row is the grid because we only have two here. And then make a double crochet right there, chain one, go into this one and then chain one. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing that we did over here and then connect it to the side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all this and then connect it to the other side exactly the same way we did this. And then we will be done. Okay, so I did the other strap just the exact same way that we did this one and my yarn is still attached. So I just chained one at the end of slip stitching it to the other side. And now we're just gonna work like a little single crochet border around the entire neckline. So starting here, and now we are gonna work a single crochet right there into that first little stitch slash gap. Like that. And then I'm gonna work one into this chain one, and then into this next double crochet. And we're just gonna be working one single crochet into every single stitch, including these chain ones. So like that, and go into that. I'm just gonna go all the way around, just kind of loosely making single crochets because similarly to the um, slip stitches, if you do it too tightly, it'll be, it'll kind of sc scrunch everything up and we don't want that. So yeah, I'm just doing some loose single crochets and this will just give it a little border and it just looks kind of nice on the edge rather than just plain double crochets. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around and I'll show you like once we get over here, it's gonna be kind of the same idea as when we slip stitch up the sides because these are not actual stitches. So we're just gonna be working single crochets, like two single crochets in the double crochet rows and then three in the treble crochet rows, but I'll show you once we get there. So I just made this last stitch in this opening of the back here, and then we're gonna be going up the strap. So like I said, I'm first just gonna go into this little stitch there. And now this is a double crochet row, so I'm just gonna work two single crochets per row for the double crochet ones. And then same thing here, go right there in the top, and then go somewhere near the bottom and make our second one going into the top like that, and then making our second one right there. And then for the treble crochet ones, just we're doing three. So go into the top, 
go into the middle, and then go into the bottom. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around the entire neckline until we get back to where we started. And then once you get to the end, back to our first single crochet, you're just gonna slip stitch directly into that single crochet and then chain one and then cut your yarn. And pull through. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the sleeves. So we're just gonna attach our yarn here in the armpit and then go around this sleeve and then the other sleeve with single crochets. So I'm just gonna attach my yarn, make a slip knot, pull that slip knot through and chain one. And then we're gonna just make single crochets all the way around. Again, being kind of loose with it because you don't wanna make your armhole too small. But yeah, I'm just kind of single crocheting around, but we're just gonna work all the way around. And then once we come back, we are gonna slip stitch into this first stitch, cut our yarn, and then reattach on the other sleeve, just like we did over here, do the exact same thing, and then we're done. So I'll come back after I've done those two, and then we will be ready to just weave in our ends, and then we'll be totally done. I finished up with all of the edging around both sleeves, and so now we are done, and all we have to do is weave in our ends. So I'm just gonna show you like my general technique to do it. So like, if there's two ends that are close together, I just tie them together a couple times. So like do that first kind of loosely and then go back in and make a knot. And just tighten that down. And then take your darning needle and you can just, I'm gonna go along this seam cause it's kind of bulky so I can hide the stitch in there or the yarn in there. And I just kind of weave it around my darning needle through the stitches and then just thread the yarn through the darning needle and pull it through. And then you can go like back and forth. You just wanna, the whole point of this is just to like secure our ends. So I'm just gonna go back and forth like that. And once I've done that a couple times, I'm just gonna grab my scissors and cut my yarn and just kinda pull that through so it's hidden. And now I'm just gonna do that for all of the ends and then we're officially done with the top. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is the inside of the top because it has all the seams and stuff. So once you've woven in all your ends and cut everything, then you'll flip it out. So it's inside out, or I guess right side out because this is the outside, if that makes sense. So yeah, you'll just flip it inside out after we do all the ends and then we'll be done. I hope you guys liked the video. Maybe you made your own little cute top or maybe you just watched. I don't know if people just watch crochet tutorials. I actually do sometimes, just like while I'm making something, it's kind of fun. Um, so I hope you got something out of this video. As always, let me know any comments, questions, concerns, or just say hi to me or anything you want in the comments below and I will help you out or just say hi if you just say hi to me. And of course, I'm gonna ask you to like the video and subscribe because I have so much more coming. When you're watching this, I think I'm done with classes, so it's summer for me. And I have so much planned for the summer for my YouTube channel because I'm gonna have so much time to make videos. So there's tons of tutorials and crochet related stuff coming your way. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and being such amazing people because you guys are really nice and I appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.